Good afternoon, Mrs. Smith. My name is Chris, and I'm going to be your CNA today, and I'm here to perform perineal care. Is now a good time? Can I check your wristband to confirm that it's you? Thank you. I will start off by providing privacy and washing my hands. I will take my basin, fill it up halfway with warm water, check the temperature with the inside of my wrist. Mrs. Smith, can you please check the temperature with your fingers? Is the temperature okay for you? Thank you. Now I can don on my clean gloves. I will lock the wheels on the bed and I will raise the bed up to my waist level for proper body mechanics. I will start off with a privacy blanket, placing it on the clean sheet, spreading it out without shaking it or snapping it. Mrs. Smith, please hang on to the clean sheet. Well, please hang on to the privacy blanket while I roll down your clean sheet. From here, I will ask the patient to scoot closer towards me. I will flex the opposite arm up 90 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and place the patient's closest arm to me over the chest, flex the knee. Mrs. Smith, on the count of three, you're going to reach for that guardrail. Are you ready? One, two, three. Making sure to only expose the area that I need to work with. I will now place a clean chuck under the patient's hips. Mrs. Smith, on the count of three, you're going to turn back towards me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Make sure that the patient is in a comfortable position. Now I will roll the privacy blanket up and inward with the gown, making sure that the patient is not sitting on their gown. And I'll expose the area that I need to work with, which is up to the pubis. From here, I will butterfly the patient's feet and proceed to take my first hand towel, submerge it in the water, remove the excess. We will be using the four leaf method, which is when you take your small towel, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. You hold it from the base of the corner, so that way each wipe is a different area of the washcloth without recontaminating an area that you just cleaned. I will apply perineal wash to each leaf. One, two, three, four. And now I can proceed to clean the vaginal area. I will take my thumb and my forefinger to separate the labia apart, so that way I can clean the inside, which is the labia minora, and the outside, which is the labia majora, at the same time. I'll start off with my first leaf on the side that is farthest away from me, going down from cleanest to dirtiest, which for ladies, you're wiping from front to back, right? Top to bottom when the patient is on their back. Change your leaf, spread the labia apart, clean the side closest to you. Make sure that you avoid the rectum. Change your leaf, spread the labia, now we're going to do the center line, making sure to avoid the rectum, change your leaf, and now we can clean the pubis and the inner thighs. Toss this into the dirty linen. Take a second hand towel, submerge it in water, remove the excess, four leaf method again. Now we're rinsing. Spread the labia apart. With my first wipe, I will do the side farthest away from me, change my leaf, closer side, change my leaf, center line, change my leaf, pubis, and inner thighs. Toss this into the dirty linen. Take my third hand towel and pat dry from top to bottom in a zigzag fashion, avoiding the rectum. Toss this into the dirty linen. Put the patient in a comfortable position and cover them again. Now I need to perform rectal care. So we're going to flex the opposite arm into a 90 degree angle. Closest arm goes over the chest. 
Flex the knee closest to you. One hand on the shoulder, one hand on the hip. Mrs. Smith, on the count of three, I want you to go ahead and turn towards the guardrail and grab onto the guardrail. Are you ready? One, two, three. Make sure to expose only the area that you're working with, which in this case will be the rectum. And we want to make sure that we're not recontaminating the perineal area we just cleaned. Submerge your towel in the water, four leaf method. Apply perineal wash to all four leaves. And from here, we're going to be cleaning from the rectum up towards the waist. And we're going to clean the buttocks as well. So now we have the patient on their side and we have to perform rectal care. So we're gonna take our fourth hand towel, submerge it in the water, and same deal, four leaf method, right? We're going to apply perineal wash to all four leaves. And we can start performing rectal care. The rectum has to be cleaned twice, and we're gonna clean each buttocks. So with our first leaf, we're gonna go from rectum to waist, without contaminating the perineal area we just cleaned. Again, rectum to waist, change our leaf, top buttocks, change your leaf, and bottom buttocks, all going away from the perineal area. Toss that into the dirty linen. Take your fifth hand towel, submerge it in the water, same thing, four leaf method. Now we're rinsing the same way. Rectum to waist, change your leaf, rectum to waist, change your leaf, top buttocks, and bottom buttocks. Now we can toss this into the dirty linen. Final hand towel is to pat dry. In the same order, from the rectum towards the waist, avoiding the perineal area. From here, we will roll the dirty chuck towards the patient and make sure that I leave the patient on a clean chuck. Spread this out and tuck the clean chuck under the dirty chuck. This way. Mrs. Smith, on the count of three, you're going to turn back towards me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go ahead and put the patient into a comfortable position. And from here, we're going to go ahead and remove the dirty chuck and finish unraveling the clean chuck. This dirty chuck will go into the trash. And now the privacy blanket will go down, dirty side towards the inside. Make sure that the patient is totally covered. Now the privacy blanket goes away from you, away from your uniform, into the dirty linen container. You can now cover the patient back up with their clean sheet and make sure that they have their call light. Mrs. Smith, if you need anything, please let me know. I will now lower the bed back down to its lowest level for safety. I will unlock the wheels on the bed and remove the privacy. I will take my basin, dump it out, rinse, dry, and place this into the dirty supply area. Perineal wash will go into its designated area. The chuck will go into the trash. I can now discard my gloves, throw them away into the trash, wash my hands, report and document, and my skill is complete.